So in part one, we found the maximum height the balloon went, which is 22 meters, and the total time the balloon's in the air, which is three seconds. In this part, part two, we're going to find what is the total distance traveled by the balloon, and at what speed does the balloon smack the boyfriend with? Well, the total distance is not too hard because we already found that it went up to 22 meters. So start at 17, went up to 22. That's an increase of 5 meters. So the balloon went up 5 meters. And then dropped all the way down to the boyfriend's head, which is 2 meters above the ground. So that's a distance traveled of 20 meters. 20 plus 5 is 25 meters. Great. Now let's find the speed at which it smacks the boyfriend in the head. And I'm going to show you two different ways to do this. First way, let's use this equation and plug and chug. V squared equals the initial squared plus 2a delta x. Well, why would I choose this equation? Well, we know the initial velocity starts off at 0 up here, or, or 10 meters per second here. You can take either case. And I also know the acceleration, it's acceleration of gravity, and I know the displacement of the balloon. Well, let's start right from her hand. If I start right from her hand, then I know the initial velocity is 10 meters per second. I square that. Plus 2 times the acceleration of gravity, and times the displacement. Well, the balloon starts at 17 and ends up at 2. That's a displacement of negative 15 meters. And now all that's left to do is square and multiply. So this 10 squared is 100 meters squared, second squared, plus 2 times 10 times 15, which is 300. And the units are meters per second squared times meters, meters squared, second squared. Great, same units as it should be. I can add them. And this gives me 400 meters squared, second squared. And if I take the square root of both sides, I get that the final velocity is plus or minus 20 meters per second. And obviously, when it hits his head, that's the negative side. That's the negative 20 meters per second. What is the positive 20 meters per second? Well, that's if you go backwards in time. Down here, it would have had to be launched at positive 20 meters per second in order to do this. Great. So we know the balloon hits him in the head with a speed of 20 meters per second. Now, let me show you another way to do this problem. You could also take the fact that if it starts up here at zero speed and then ends up down here at some speed final that we want to find, and we also know the time, because in the previous part we found that that takes two seconds, I can then use the formula for average velocity, which is just displacement over time, to get our answer. The displacement is, well, we found that my height is 22, drops down to 2, so that's 20 meters. And the time is 2 seconds. So that's an average velocity of negative 10 meters per second. Well, if that's the average and it starts at 0, I know that average will equal v1 plus v2. And v1 is 0 plus uh, our v final divided by 2. And I know that this guy is our negative 10. Well, this guy has to be negative 20. Negative 20 divided by 2 is negative 10. So that's another way to find the final velocity. Uh, there you go.